Hi, I'm Sundata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. Right now, we are on our lecture number 7 and this is for the week 4. Now let's proceed to our topic for today. So we have here three topics. The first one is specifying the output order. The second one is the use of order by clause. And the last one, we have the in operator clause. To specify the order of the rows in the output of SQL select command, you use an order by clause that lists one or more expression that determine the output sequence. For example, you could sort the output of the student master list query in the previous section by student name type and within each type by student number with the following. Specifying the output order in figure 13 shows the SQL order by clause. Now you will notice um, the table name is Banyas table and there is a what you call fields or the field names we have a student number, a student name, a starting date so we have on the uh, student name uh, three students listed now there is a record we can now make our SQL code right here we have on the command select space student number identifying this field comma student name one comma starting date the last field on the table now from Banyas table that is the name of the table and we have order by stood name so the the topic we have right now is the order by clause and this order by if you notice the output right here is the table this one is the query that's why it is SQL so this is the query the output of the code upon you enter this part so you will notice that the names of the students like de los reyes punzalan and rose are considered to be in order okay before it is rose punzalan de los reyes and right now it is de los reyes punzalan and rose and that is what the order by clause function in sql now let's move on A specifying order by clause in ordering criteria, it specifies the field or fields and expressions used in the query sort order. The arrow that appears to the left of each field specifies an ascending, which means up, or descending, which means down, sorted, or sort. A mover box appears to the left of the arrow for changing the order of the fields. We have two order options right here. The first one is ascending, sets the selected item in the ordering criteria box to sort in ascending order. And the last one is descending, sets the selected item in the ordering criteria box to sort in descending order. Now let's check out about what is an ascending. Now right here we have the, the project name, that is the table name. The project manager or the project name is Banyas. The table name is Banyas table and we have the query. Now look at here. So I add another fields like A, B, C, D and afterwards I query them because we use already the suit name, suit, suit number and starting date. So to modify that you can click this one. Okay, right here on the table then you can click modify. So you can we can add now fields and after adding fields we're going to browse it and append to add records so right now the records is ako ay ragay ikaw ay o tagay tayo no no lagay silang bagay now uh, those are random okay uh, now we have here the code in sql select a b c d which identifies the field a b c d from Banyas table that is the name of the table and we have order by okay specifying order so we specify here only one and that is letter a and that's the field name a okay ascending order so it should be a a and r but you can modify this a with other fields 
so that you can check out ascending. Ascending is from uh, alphabetically range A to Z or in a number or 0 to 9. That's it. Next we have here is something like very similar but uh, we modify only the, the second option this for descending and it's still A and you will notice it should be the field itself on the record it should be the guy I okay that is descending order now uh, this uh, order by clause is identified only through ascending or descending okay it should be up or down next specifying in clause so in is not the same as order by but in is something like we're going to join condition or filter condition can be an in clause the in clause is of the form in then value set where value set is expression 1 expression 2 and expression and so on the in operator let you specify a list of acceptable values for an expression example um for example, you could sort the output of the student master list query in the previous section by student name type combined with the in order by and work clause within each type of student number with the following. So let's proceed to the next slide. So we have here, we combine the from the SQL, the word, the in, and the order. Okay, so you will notice on the in uh, clause, there's a what they call open and close parentheses which means identifies as this is considered to be a series of uh, words okay or to make it correct it is a set so and we put heroes and poncelan with comma to se separate those two uh, names then we put also uh, double quote begin and after end uh, to identify that it is considered to be a text now uh, then we order by the student name and you will notice that right here rows and banyas from the banyas table then punsa lang christian de los reyes and what in specify is the expression it identifies only the expression as two and that is rows and punsa lang and the los reyes is not included in the in uh, clause that's why the order by only work on the two names we have here and the output will be this one okay so that is the idea so that is in figure 16 now let's move on the specifying in this function in function is seldom be used in sql and it was been replaced by in this function so in this function determine whether an expression matches another expression in a set of expression so the code is something like in list open and close parentheses then the expression and this is what they call there's a what they called e uh, at the beginning it meant to say it should be in multiple expression you cannot only use one expression here because it could give you an error the the problem is that e is for exponentiation in mathematics and in expression they uses that also because in computer everything is math uh, next we have in list function returns true if it finds the expression in the set of expressions otherwise in list returns false the null value is returned if ex e expression 1 is the null value the null value is also returned if e expression 1 is not the null value so e expression 1 does not match another expression and at least one of the other expression is the null value so that's why in list is very hard to use if you don't know the code in SQL but due to this uh, discussion you can use in list in your SQL code so right here we have the same as before in in function but this one is in list function and you will notice we use the word okay then after that uh, word clause we use the in list function and there's a what you call a list right here which is considered to be to make it exactly it is a set but the set has been uh, changed through the in list function because of this a okay so the a is considered to be a field identifies right here so we use this a b c d fields right here and uh, we do the same as in 
function ako i but we list identify that the list of ako i is considered to be listed only specific on the a field that's why if you're going to enter this ako i will display the other will display because of the combination or continuity of the fields right here a b c d it will display but it specify that ako i is the first generator of the in list function and uh, that is for the in list hoping you you understand what i'm talking about and i i do this code um, before i record this video in a split second only okay next so congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number seven thank you and good luck